heartbeats are the sound of life, so it's understandable that any irregularities can make an expecting mom to worry. Fetal arrhythmias, that means irregularities in your baby's heartbeat, are probably more common during pregnancies than you think. Whether you discover it during an appointment or using your own fetal Doppler, it's normal to be concerned. But in many cases, it only requires lifestyle changes to get your baby's heart rate back to normal. I'm Dr. Carolina Melgar from Sono Health. And in this video, I'm talking about fetal heart arrhythmias, the causes and the treatments. Once your baby's big enough, your doctor will be able to use a fetal Doppler to detect his or her heartbeat. This will allow the doctor to hear the heart and by that get an initial impression of his overall health and if he's developing as we expect. Along with the heartbeats, along with the beats per minute, your doctor will also listen to the rhythm of the heartbeat mostly checking if it's regular or if there are random and unexpected heartbeats. A fetal heart arrhythmia is when we detect an abnormal heart rhythm. Don't worry if you hear a very fast heart rate. A normal heart rate for a fetus is around 140 beats per minute. It may be higher around the first trimester. Now, in some fetal arrhythmias, the heart rate may be too fast or too slow or have extra beats. This is relatively common. It happens around 1-2% to of pregnancies, and especially in the second and third trimester. They're usually detected during a normal pregnancy checkup, and ordinarily there are no symptoms. A normal heartbeat sounds like dum 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 that fast. But a fetus with a heart arrhythmia might sound like dum 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 It's a little bit different. So, the most common type of fetal arrhythmias are bradycardia, that means when the heart rate is too slow, below 100 beats per minute, or tachycardia, when it's over 180 beats per minute. And then we have the premature atrial contractions, we always call them PACs, that are extra beats gener generated in the atria of the heart. And then we have premature ventricular contractions, we call them PVCs, and that is generated in the ventricles of the baby's heart. So when you have a, a pregnancy checkup, your doctor uses a fetal Doppler, aka a fetal heartbeat monitor, to check your baby's fetal heart rate. There are also fetal Doppler models that you can purchase for your own home use. If you use a fetal Doppler at home, you may get used to your baby's heartbeat patterns. When you hear an extra beat, you could be detecting an abnormality. However, it's important to remember that only professionals can diagnose this condition. It's also possible you're detecting a baby's movement when he changes positions. This can also feel like an abnormal heartbeat. So first of all, try not to panic. And if you're worried, you can record the heartbeat and send it to your doctor for advice. Remember that fetal heart arrhythmias are more common than we think because we only catch these issues during appointments. I'm sure that if we listened more frequently during a woman's pregnancy, we would detect more than the 1-2% to we expect today. So, although you may worry something is wrong with your baby, don't forget that most irregularities are not serious. I recommend two things. One, if you have a high-risk pregnancy or if you had previous miscarriages, a fetal Doppler you can have at home could be a very good investment. But if you're going through a normal pregnancy, use the fetal Doppler to bond with your baby and be reassured. If your doctor detects an abnormal rhythm, they will probably refer you to a specialist, like a fetal or a pediatric cardiologist. During that appointment, the doctor will evaluate your baby's structure and whether its development is normal. That could involve several tests, including a fetal echocardiogram. This will help your doctor determine whether the issue is caused by the heart or other factors such as your diet or sometimes stress. In the most challenging cases, arrhythmia may be caused by congenital heart defects like heart blocks, electrolyte imbalances, inflammatory disease, or restricted blood flow. In most cases, the heart structure is normal and your baby is developing just fine. Your doctor can review your diet or possibly medication you might be receiving to determine if it's causing the arrhythmia. Sometimes caffeine or migraine medication cause your baby's heart to speed up a little bit. In this case, just changing your diet and your medication and avoiding foods can help you return your baby's heart back, back to normal. Many fetal arrhythmias resolve on their own and don't require treatment. The most common treatment is medication, but only in the cases that it affects blood flow. 
If there's reduced blood flow to the fetus, it can affect how much oxygen he receives. So these medications are given to the pregnant mom and passed to the fetus through the placenta. Now, smoking or vaping during pregnancy can cause a variety of issues, heart defects, breathing problems, low birth weight, and of course, fetal arrhythmias. In the more complicated cases, your doctor may recommend medication to prevent heart failure. This means that your baby's heart rate will be monitored more closely throughout your pregnancy. In this situation, I would also recommend getting an at-home fetal Doppler. Check out my video on how to use a fetal Doppler. It's very easy and fun to use. I hope you enjoyed this video, so if you did, please subscribe and follow for more.